that is football. Oh my. So yes, we're throwing it back to FIFA 23 and today we're talking about the 3-4-2-1 formation. We've got some custom tactics and a setup that makes this such a fun attacking formation for you to play while still being very sound defensively. EA did nerf the ability for three and five backs to be as strong with the left mid and right mid not getting back in defense as quick as they used to. It doesn't mean that you still can't use, you know, the three back formation should you wish to. So let's walk you through our our custom tactics in the 3421. First of all, I want to talk about something that I think is absolutely crucial for this setup, and that is going to be Oliver Skip. Now, you don't need Oliver Skip, but ideally, if you can have a centre mid who has Tiki Taka Plus, maybe Tiki Taka Silver, this will make this formation so much easier for you. All right, you'll see from the goals that we show how well we can move the ball by just playing those first time passes directly into those attackers and wingers to get the ball going and get the ball moving okay now defensive style we go balanced i did originally run this with press on possession loss and what i found is that it was just so aggressive we really couldn't run it so balance is kind of there and you can kind of tell obviously from what's coming it is a different setup than what we would normally run defensive width is a lot more narrower than what i would go in other formations and that is going to be 35 defensive width the reason being i found the right center back and left center back to be so far away uh, from the middle center back that i just wanted to tuck that defense in even more okay so they're not as wide apart from each other if you kind of lose the ball in the middle it felt like it was so easy for the opponent to look for a through ball in basically in the 4 3 2 1 as most people would be playing to get an up against you so that narrow width is definitely needed now i run 60 depth in this setup if you're on old gen we say this all the time you're more than welcome to run a lower depth around 40 is fine the here i probably would advise you to go with what you feel comfortable with you want to run a higher line and have that 71 depth for the automatic offside trap and ai press feel free if you want to just have the automatic ai press anything from 46 depth and above will give you that and if you're not wanting that, run that 45 and below and you'll be fine. Just go with what you feel good with, all right? I do want to try and win the ball back not long after I've lost it. And having a higher depth just means that defensive line is just going to hold a little bit longer rather than immediately dropping back. Do take note, though, if opponent is running direct passing, regardless of your depth, your defense will end up being back on your 18-yard box a lot of the time. So you will have to like automatic offside trap. Build up play, balance, and then chance creation, possession. I did try long ball. I despise it with a passion. I just can't do long ball. Fast build up and slow build up as well. They're kind of dependent. Build up play, I think balance, the reason why it works best is that it just gives you the ability at any point of the game, whether you're winning, losing, just looking to transition forward with normal speed, you get that when you have balanced build up play. So not really too much to say on that. Now, chance creation, possession, different, I know. Um, what does this do? This is basically telling your players to face you rather than in behind and to show for the ball a little bit more rather than trying to make those runs. Not saying that you don't want to look in behind, because we will talk on that in the player instructions. You can get that as well. And that's where you want to trigger your runners. If you want a player to run in behind, feel free to trigger the runner. If not, you're going to have passes on, which is really good in this setup. I kept it neutral on the attacking width at 50. And players in box, I went three. Now, the reason why I went three here is because I want xerxy and okafor to be the only people really in the box available for the cross i don't really want you know loftus cheat joining politano caratui cars up and so on because i go for a lot of crosses if you don't go for a lot of crosses and you're not really bothered about you know the numbers in the box feel free to move this to five that will also work and then corners and free kicks is personal preference i go one and one if you are after any one-to-one -one coaching on FC24 to help you get better and more wins in weekend league or climb division rivals or just beat your friends, head on over to alexbofficial.com and you can book in your sessions via there. Now time for the player instructions. Your right forward and striker are both going to be on stay central, stay forward. This is ideally going to be your, your big player. So if you have a, a dropper, a Xerxes, an Okafor, whoever it is who's good in the air, play them at right forward. Then you could play more of your traditional striker at striker with stay central, stay forward. And then your left forward is your more like nimble player, the one that you want to get the ball on the ground with and dribble and pass and do a little bit of everything. We're going to just be on getting behind there now originally in this right mid and left mid setup i just i didn't have them on uh, come back on defense i had them on balance i don't think you can run it on 
balance. You need them on comeback and defense, not necessarily because you want to make it a five back when you're defending, but more so when they're on just balance, they don't know where to be when the opponent has the ball. They just they just don't know where they're, they're meant to be. They just I've just found them not in not in a pressing position, not in a defensive position, just kind of lingering around doing nothing. Stay wide and get in behind. Now we want this because we want these to give us the width. We want them getting chalk on their boots. And we want them getting in behind to give us the byline drive option. If Karachui runs down the left wing, I want to be able to then go for an L1 square to Xerxes at the back post. That's what we're going to look for. Now, our middle center, our left center mid doesn't have to be the left center mid. You can do this on the right. This is fine. You just want a more defensive minded player. Skip is the one that I use with medium high work rates. And as I said, that Tiki Taka Plus making it well. Uh, stay back while attacking cover centre. Your right centre mid, though, is going to be the one that you are going to allow to have a bit of freedom. High, high work rates here is crucial. And just have them on cover centre. Let them get up and down. And then for all of your centre backs, stay back while attacking. And then goalkeeper, personal preference. If you want the one comes across, is feel free. If you don't, just leave them on balance, just as I did. Now, I'm going to show you exactly kind of what you need to do and what sort of patterns of play you can get going in this 3-4-2-1. I've got to go forward. Unnecessarily. That's a great ball, by the way. Woo! Let's go, Politano. Blend skip. Woo! Beautiful! You know? Oos! Lovely goal. that gap little touch that's a great goal that's a great goal that is football oh my I didn't expect him to take the touch the way that he did um Woo! Okafor let's go and he's out of here GG mate well played Lovely, Zerxy. I don't really want off the cheek at the back post, but Politano. All right, back in it. Very good if you're trying to look for headers. You don't need a big man to do that. That's where Zerxy comes into his own, mate. Oh, it's actually get your ass in the box, son. But even that, good goal, though. Dribbles. What a come on! That is unbelievable football. FIFA in a very long time. Normally, it's not that bad on a Friday at this sort of time, really, but. Lovely. Let's go. If you do want to see any of our other custom tactics, you can click the video on the top of the screen now, but we'll catch all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.